I believe that we should always be critical of the world we live in. Whether you live in the feudalism or in ancient Athens or you know in China, you should always be critical because unless you are critical, there is no scope for improvement. The problem is that democratic politics is broken, and it, it, its um, fate is intertwined with increasing concentration of corporate power. So our states, our democracies, have completely been usurped by the concentration of money. Mm. Uh, effectively, effectively, our politics has been purchased by those who have an interest in depleting the natural resources of the planet. You can see how easily somebody like Donald Trump can jump on a soapbox and uh, promise people that he's going to make them proud again, mm -hmm. that he's going to turn against, you know, he's going to drain the swamp and so on. And in the end, usurps the power that anger bestows upon him in order to, you know, put somebody from Goldman Sachs into the treasury. Uh, that is the reason why the present degree of inequality uh, is symptomatic of a dynamic that makes the society in, in which we live, especially if you couple it with the ecological dimension, unsustainable. But the question is, are we going to move towards a Star Trek society where the machines are working for us and we can explore the universe and have philosophical conversations Sounds good along to me. the lines of humanism? Or are we going to move towards something closer to the matrix, right. where we are all serving the machines and we are simply you know, victims of a false consciousness that we have created? That's our choice.